it's Saturday, January 30th, winter bow here in New Jersey. We've actually still got almost three weeks to go, but um, last couple days have been brutal cold with some strong winds. So we finally got a nice afternoon. It's about 35 degrees, winds calm down, and uh, the deer are trying to get out into the fields uh, to feed. So you know, hopefully uh, they're gonna get up and move early today, give us an opportunity, really like to get one more for the freezer. Just kind of, kind of be careful because um, there are a couple of bucks that already shed their antlers here. So, but if a big uh, mature doe comes by or a buck, uh, you know, we're kind of uh, first come first serve here today. We're just going to let those shed bucks walk. But um, uh, it feels good to be in stand. It's been a little while since I had a nice, comfortable afternoon. So we're going to sit tight and enjoy it, and hopefully the action starts soon. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, I cannot believe it. I'm shaking. <laughs> You'd think that was a giant buck. Man, my hands are sweating. It's 34 degrees. Man, that was so cool. She, we were just kind of looking in a different direction and I heard something and she came right up the lane to me. She gave me such a chip shot. It just made a perfect shot. It's oh my phone shot. Hand shaking. 359. Um, We've only been in the stand, settled in for about a half hour or so. <sighs> nice doe down, perfect clean shot, and uh, just feeling great. <sighs> great day to be in the woods. Thanks for filming, Tim. Hopefully that came out good. <laughs> He's, it's been all year. His goal has been to try to get a good clean kill on camera, so. Um, got it. You got it, awesome. <laughs> Nice job, pal. Thank you. <laughs> right. Let's see if anything else comes.
70 yards from uh, my friend Aldo and then two deer came off the field and uh, they laid down the one of them was about four yards from his stand I guess he couldn't shoot and he just finally they got up and were like watching I was like shoot shoot finally he, he must not have had an opportunity and they, they, she just cleared and he just made a good shot because she went she probably went about 40 yards and she's down so two does down what a good afternoon <laughs> Got her. She only went about 40 or so yards from the stand. We had to wait. Couldn't get down and film a recovery because our friend Aldo was in the stand um, maybe 75 yards from us. So uh, he had two deer bedded underneath him and I guess he didn't have an opportunity because one was only about four yards. We didn't get the story yet, but eventually uh, they got up to get into the field and uh, he made a good shot. She only went about 40 yards or so, maybe 50. Hard to tell from here, but um, just uh, really happy. Good, good end to the season. Made a good clean shot. And uh, Tim's been dying to get uh, a shot on camera this year and we finally got it done on January 30th. So um, just a great night. A uh, beautiful night in the deer woods. We had some really cold weather the past couple of days and it was just a beautiful day today. The wind calmed down for us and um, this girl marched in at 3.54 in the afternoon right down in the middle of some open hardwoods and gave me a eight yard shot just, just the way I like it. So um, just real thankful to have an opportunity at this point in the season and get a little bit more meat for the freezer. So I'm getting her out of here.